Welcome to another uh, training session of the Corporate Toolbox. Today we're going to talk about paid traffic and this is going to be about an email I got today because part of the Corporate Toolbox is how to run Google Ads on YouTube. And that section isn't done. And there's a reason that a section isn't done. There's a proper sequencing to the Corporate Toolbox. First thing you get is your holding company, then you get your operating company, then you do your marketplace research on an audience or marketplace that you want to serve, then you get your marketing. You cannot skip over these steps. Uh, this is one of the most frustrating things is I get people who will come in and they want to do things out of sequence. And also paid traffic is a nasty animal if you do it incorrectly. Everything that is included in the corporate toolbox about market research and marketing, you need to do that before you start running paid ads. I'm gonna tell you why. If you have a lot of money, let's say you have $50,000 to run ads. Guess how much of that 50,000 you will use to test? Meaning you don't know who your audience is, you're just running, you're just literally throwing stuff up against the wall. You can spend five to $10,000 just testing without getting a return on your spend, easily. Some companies spend more because they have massive ad budgets and they can play that game. But if you're just starting out, $10,000 just, it's pretty much like taking $10,000 and setting it on fire. That's what you're gonna get. So what I want you guys to do is to do it in the proper sequence because if you can convert from an organic level, then you will be able to convert at a greater level once you start using paid traffic. If you have a business that you just like, hey, I got a business, you, you sign up for the corporate toolbox and you, you, you're not going through the modules, you're not going through this stuff, I can guarantee you that you're going to waste a lot of money with paid traffic. I've run a lot of paid traffic campaigns, I can tell you how it works, and this is something that you have to be really, really aware of. All paid traffic platforms are not the same. There are some things that Facebook ads are good for. There are some things that YouTube, you Google YouTube ads are good for. There are some things that Google Display is good for. There are some things that Google Shopping is good for. There are some things that Instagram is good for. So once again, you're got, gonna know where you need to put your your advertising dollars until you do your research. I have like, go ahead and go to YouTube and Google paid traffic and you're not gonna see a lot of activity. You'll see some people who will talk about some type of scammy stuff, but you're not gonna get a lot of real concrete information and I'm gonna tell you why. The people who are really good at running paid traffic charge a lot of money for their expertise and they're not giving it away for free. And another reason you will not see it is Facebook ads, Google YouTube ads, Google Display, they change up their platforms so much. Like, well, give me an example. I was running a lot of paid traffic on the Google, um, Google YouTube, YouTube platform. And I had stepped away from a year and I went back to it and it was 100% different. It was 100%. It took me like a month to get back up to speed. So this is another thing, if you're not running paid traffic on a consistent basis, these changes can be very costly and very expensive, even if you were really good with the platform before. So with paid traffic, you must continue to be on the platform and continue to run ads so you can be aware of these changes. Because I'm here to tell you, and this, this is why I'm designing the corporate toolbox this way, to get you guys into doing market research to get you guys to know who your customer is, to know who you're selling to, to, because, you know, like I said, I, I got that email and I know people just like, there are people who's like, just run ads, just run ads, right? And I guarantee you, note the people who are running ads and note how long they do it. You will see many people running ads. And if you see this ad run for like a month and then you don't see it no more, they lost money. Right now, there are many people who are running unstructured ads. And what do I mean by unstructured ads? Like, okay, 
Essentially, when you run an ad, let's say we're going to talk about selling a online course and running ads for that. First of all, you're going to need some way to get them to get to know who you are, either have a webinar or some type of freebie, right? That's the first step. So you get these people and you run your, your traffic. Let's say you had a lead magnet and you were running advertising and you were getting people to sign up for the free lead magnet. All right. Let's say for simple math that you get a thousand people who sign up for your lead magnet. And out of those thousand people, you're going to turn 10 or 20 into real customers. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I'm giving you realistic math. So let's say it cost you $10,000 to get those thousand people. And you've got a thousand dollar product. So you make 20 sales. So you spent 10,000 to make 20,000. So you're 10,000 to the good. That math works. And if you don't understand that math and you don't have the, the, the front end and the back end set up correctly, you will blow a lot of money on paid ads. And what's going to happen? And like I said, note, you know, on YouTube, actually, if you have ad blocker, turn it off. So you can see the ads that YouTube's pushing to you and see how long they run these ads. I've seen many, many people start running ads during COVID and they ran them for a month and they disappeared. They disappeared because they ran out of money. And they were not making money. This is how you can tell if a marketer is making money. If you see the ad for three, four, five, six months and you consistently see this ad, they're making money. But if they run an ad for like a few weeks or a few months and they stop, they've lost money. And you will see many, many people who are doing this. And I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to construct a proper ad campaign with a front end and a back end and upsells. Because if you don't do it that way, because essentially what's going to happen is, let's say you construct an ad campaign and let's say you're using ClickFunnels. In ClickFunnels, you have five upsells. You have your front end sell, which just pays the cost of the ad. And then you have your second upsell, your third upsell, your fourth upsell, your fifth upsell. I mean, seriously, what's gonna happen is small percentage of people are gonna go completely through their five upsells and they're gonna buy all five. And that's gonna be your profit, but you gotta know how to set that up. And this once again comes back to your marketplace research. Because one, one of the things is like, let's say I just came up with this as a product, right? I was just like, hey, this is a good product. And I went to Alibaba and I got this product, super cheap. Then I went to Facebook and I started trying to sell that product to a cold audience that I know nothing about. It's going to be very hard to sell this using paid traffic because I'm starting off with an extremely cold audience that I know absolutely nothing about because essentially what I'm trying to teach you guys, because like if you can make organic sales with free traffic, that is the pathway to leveraging paid traffic. And I'm probably going to do a live stream on this on YouTube because I know a lot of people just want to cheat the system. And the way that the corporate toolbox is built is designed to make you money long term. And once again, in the beginning, it's going to be rough. You're going to have to, you're going to have to, I mean, it's not easy. It's not sexy. It's not exciting doing marketplace research, collecting data, getting data points. But this is what separates someone who comes up and starts a business and they're in business for a few months to someone who's been in business 11 years. So, like I said, take off the ad blocker, start looking the ads, start seeing and actually click on them and, and see what they do and note how long they're running these ads. If they're only running these ads for a little bit, that, that should tell you that they're, that they're not working because let's, let's take Alex Becker. Alex Becker is really good at running ads and how often did you see these drop shipping courses and let's talk about that. Alex Becker has an SEO company and he has a company that helps people manage their ad spend. He just recently started running YouTube ads for his ad spend and Facebook ads. Now, 
He does not run these ads the way that he ran the ads for the drop shipping course, which he did not create. Why did Alex Becker create ad sets for drop shipping and run them crazy? He was like on Ty Lopez level with this. At the time, Amazon FBA courses, drop shipping courses were super hot. You know, because the promise is that you can sit at home, you don't have to hold inventory, you can make a lot of money. It, it was like little money in, big money out, very easy sell. And he went crazy with it. But here's the thing, most people who do drop shipping are not successful because essentially you'll take these courses that will teach you how to go to Alibaba or wherever and buy the same product that so many people are, are buying or sometimes maybe you can white label a product where you will have them like, let's say they were selling these and then I went ahead and put Yeti on it. Once again, it's a whole different animal. But one of the reasons he ran those ads for as long as he did, because he was making a lot of money. This is how you check ads. Because, you know, part of your research, because um, I suggest that you take the one funnel away challenge by Russell Bronson. It's ClickBank. It's, it's about click funnels. It's $100. You will learn a lot about marketing just taking that course because they'll tell you it's like an hour a day, but literally it's like three hours a day. And it's pretty intense. But one of the things that you have to understand about paid traffic is targeting. And if you do not understand the targeting, you're going to waste a lot of money. You're going to like, unless you have a ridiculously large ad budget to test where you can blow through $50,000, just testing out ad concepts and finding your audience. If you got that kind of money, all right, by all means, go ahead and run ads. But if you're operating on a five or $10,000 budget and you've not done the preliminary uh, work, you've not done the preliminary um, groundwork, you, you haven't discovered who, where, what, I I'm just here to tell you, you're gonna waste a lot of money with paid traffic, a lot of money. Your paid traffic results are gonna be as only as good as your um, research. Like, I keep harping on this and I'm being repetitive for a reason. Go through the modules about finding your audience and creating hot traffic because if you can't sell it to a warm audience, to someone that knows you, it's going to be damn near impossible to sell it to a cold audience. It's going to be really, really... You, you think... Like I said, right now, I've seen several people come on YouTube, run ads I've never seen before, and literally within a month, they're gone because they're not making any money. See, I'm, I'm putting this section in the corporate toolbox to inform you, to make you aware of the process of running paid ads. And one of the things, like going back to Alex Becker, he knew that there was a huge market for the drop shipping course. It was massive. And he fully exploited that market. And I'm guarantee you that before Alex just started running ads, he did some research. I guarantee it because look at the products that, you know, Alex has a product that he's selling, but he doesn't run ads the way that he did for the dropshipping course. Because he knows that his target audience for Market Hero is dramatically smaller than the target audience for the uh, drop shipping course. So he's running this ad totally different and he's trying to target his desired customer. That's why he's running his ads because you don't see these marketplace hero ads on every two, you don't see them all on YouTube because he knows that his, his, his uh, preferred customer, his ideal customer, Because uh, Gary V, like, let me go ahead and give you the whole spill of Gary V. Like, a lot of people like, you know, be like Gary V, do like Gary V, put up all this content. Gary V is leveraging us, the people who market and watch his content and his YouTube channel and all this other stuff, so he can say, look, these are my results here, and I can do this for you on the corporate level. He doesn't want our money. He wants those two, three, four, five, ten million dollar a month corporate Fortune 500 company contracts. He doesn't want $100 for a course. He, he, he doesn't want that. 
And that's why his machine is built the way that it's built. Because like, um, for me, and I can say this with a great deal of honesty and clarity, that going away and giving people products for free, because Gary can give us his stuff for free, because let me go ahead and give you an example. Like a corporate 500 company or corporate one or a Fortune 500 or Fortune 1000 ad campaign is totally different campaign than you will run if you were a small business. First thing they're gonna do is surveys. They're gonna figure out what the audience is interested in and they're gonna spend maybe $100,000, $200,000 just doing that. Just doing that, just figuring out what the marketplace wants. And then once they fine tune it and dial it up, then they're gonna start spending millions on ad spend. They're like, if you've got $200,000 to figure out who your audience is or to create um, a market awareness, go knock yourself out. But if you are a small beginning business with maybe $5,000 to $10,000 per month to spend, do not repeat and do those things because it's gonna bite you in the butt. This is why I've designed the corporate toolbox the way that I did. And I'm gonna put this section of the corporate toolbox on YouTube because people need to be aware because you know, people like, just spend money on ads, just spend money on ads. You need to be proficient in spending money on ads and you need to understand your preferred customer behavior. You need to know what ad platforms are going to help you achieve your goals and sales goals because like I said, there are many people right now who are trying to sell physical products and they're trying to use Facebook ads and a lot of them are not doing really well. You wanna know why? When you wanna figure out a product or something, where do you go? You go to Google. You don't go to Facebook to search for physical products. Now there are some people who are selling physical products on Facebook who are doing really well, but let's just say you're brand new and you're just selling these no marketplace research and you go to Facebook. I guarantee you, you're gonna waste a lot of money. Physical products work better in Google Display and with YouTube ads. Why? Google Display, search. Oh, I'm searching for a red t-shirt. Bam! Very simple. There is no search process in Facebook. Uh, so you, th this is a part of becoming a proficient marketer and proficient in running ads. And the first thing is, wh which platform should I use? Should I use Facebook? Should I use Google? Should I use YouTube? Should I use Bing? Should I use Pinterest? Should I use Instagram? That's, because like I said, Athletic Apparel, Gymshark, they advertise on YouTube and they use Instagram. That's where their customers are. So, before you even spend money, and this, this is why I, I, I'm being really repetitive and I'm hammering in and I'm just talking about what you need to do, how you need to do it, how you need to understand what you need to do in terms of running paid traffic because paid traffic can be hella expensive, it can be crazy expensive, and if you do it wrong, you're gonna lose money. And you should be doing two to three months of market research before you start running ads. You should have an idea where your customer is, who your customer is, and what your customer wants before you start running ads. Because once again, I mean, many people will tell you just run ads, you're gonna make a lot of money. I'm here to tell you, no you're not. And once again, I've said this before, this is the third or fourth time, if you have ad blocker on YouTube, go ahead and push to you who keeps running ads if they keep running ads they're making money and then go ahead click on the ad and look at their process and you will that will educate you because anyone can run ads for a month how let's see you run ads for a whole year or in the case of Alex Becker let's see you run ads for three years that's that's a, that's a hard act to follow because once again, like I, I'll tell you my story. Uh, I was running ads on YouTube to sell my, my free course. And it was costing me five bucks per lead. 
And then at the end of the day, once I ran an email campaign to these people, it really, my cost went up to about 15 bucks per lead because a lot of people would just hop off the email list. And I was like, this isn't good. So I ran that traffic for a little bit. And then what I did is I went ahead and said, you know what? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna test this. So I started pitching the free course on Savage Finance and Hustlers Kung Fu. I got better results and these people didn't hop off the email list and it was free. So you, you gotta do little things like that because like I said, just uh, I, I plan on dialing up my paid traffic spend once I get it dialed in and figured out to about 100K a month. That's the goal and it's probably gonna take me six or seven months to get there because there are steps and there are things that I have to do before. Because like running, you can spend $100,000 a month to a very cold audience and you can lose $100,000 a month. Very easily, very, very easily. And this is like me, like I'm not going to run ads for the corporate toolbox on YouTube because YouTube, you know, maybe in the latter stage, stages, once I get it all sexy and stuff, but right now I'm not running it on YouTube and I'm gonna run these ads on LinkedIn and I gotta start doing content marketing on LinkedIn so I can create warm traffic so people can know me, so people can follow the page. I got work to do. This is like a six month process. And for you folks out there who feel like, hey, I'm just going to run some ads and make a lot of money, please do that and get back to me with your results. Because I'm here to tell you that if you do not do the necessary marketplace audience research, you will fail. I'm just here to tell you before you go spend your money and lose your money. I'm just here to tell you. Running paid traffic is part art and it's part science. And one of the things is that you've got to be making money because essentially, like I gave you that example, you, you, you run paid traffic, you get a thousand people, and then a thousand people boils down to 20 real customers. And it costs you $10,000 to get those people and you made $20,000 in sales. That math works. You can keep running ads. It's like, oh, this, this works. I make more money than I'm spending. But if you're just, uh, or some cases, let's say, you, it costs you $10,000 to a thousand customers and then you have a long-term game plan because some people do this. They'll spend like $120,000 a year on ads to get people on their email list and sell them something later, which is a whole nother game. It's a whole nother game. And also be careful when you're doing your research because you can see someone running ads, but you don't know what kind of marketplace research that, that they've done. So there are many people who will copy a funnel and it won't work because they didn't do the work. So be very, very careful with how you run ads and all this other stuff. And like I said, there's a proper sequence because you gotta get your holding company set up. You gotta get your operating company set up. Then you've got to do this market. I cannot underestimate or overstate how important the market research is going to be for you to be successful running ads. I cannot, I can't, I, I can't stress that enough because like I said, I've run a lot of ad campaigns. Um, I've run a lot on YouTube. I had, I'll actually tell you something that I used to do that did not work, that doesn't work anymore. I would literally find a YouTube video and I would see what they were ranking, where they were ranking when you do in search. And I'll say, oh, so they're getting like two, about 2,000 views a day. So I would use the same exact title, better thumbnail, better video, and I would run ads to that video to outrank the video that, that was ranking organically. And a lot of times my video would outrank and it would go to number one and it would stay there even after I stopped the traffic. That no longer works on YouTube. Once again, what I said is the marketing and the ads and all the other things is consistently changing. It is always changing. So what worked last year may not necessarily work next year. So this is one of the things because you're gonna have to become a student of the game, a technician, if you're gonna run your own traffic because you're gonna have to know this stuff pat or you're gonna lose a lot of money, a whole bunch of money. 
because essentially pretty much any ad campaign and this is one of the reasons that many of these courses are so expensive because they'll run all these ads and if they don't get enough buyers they can't run ads anymore this is one of the main reasons that these online courses are so expensive because they need to have that buy-in to, to continue to be able to run ads and you know, there, there's all different things. But once I get to the ad course, because once again, I'm taking you through a proper sequence with the corporate toolbox. Do this first, do this second, do this third, and it makes sense, it's sensible, it's sane, whether you are a new person to business or a seasoned professional, this is going to make a lot of sense to you because if you do it in sequence, you do it in order, you're gonna get better results. I know I get people in here who just like, I wanna study all that. I just want to go ahead and run some ads. And I'm here to tell you, you're going to fail. I know you don't want to hear that, but you're going to fail. Because I know how to run ads, and I know the game, and I know how difficult it can be to run a successful ad campaign consistently. And that's one of the reasons that I've devoted so much time to creating warm traffic and making sales that way. Because right now, I'm not running any paid traffic, and I'm making six figures a month. First, you've got to be able to sell without the traffic and then once you figure out, okay, well this works, this is why I'm selling, this works, this works, and then add those elements to your paid traffic campaigns and your, trade pa your, your, your paid traffic campaigns will explode. You will be like, whoa, this is crazy. This is crazy. So, go ahead, do the work, do the research, prepare yourself, to properly run your paid traffic. All right, this is your awareness segment of the corporate toolbox, because I know a lot of people are just like, I wanna skip over, don't skip over modules. Do not just like ignore this and then just jump into this, because your results are not gonna be what you want them to be, okay? All right, so I will see you guys in the next training. Next month, we're gonna get into uh, how to create a sales process. And once again, the sequence, because your marketing will influence how you create your sales park, your, your sales process. And your audience research will influence your marketing. See, it's audience research, it's marketing, then your sales process. If you just go ahead and try to create a sales process without data points, good luck with that. It ain't gonna work. I'm just here to tell you, it ain't gonna work. This is how I was corporately trained to create sales processes. And this, and I've been doing this for like 20 years. And this is something that I applied to my storage auction business, which allowed me to infiltrate the ranks and become a big dog rather quickly because I was doing things that they weren't doing. So once again, be sure to follow the proper sequence and you will get much, much better results. All right, so I will see you in the next training.